Well, where to start today? I guess what just broke. We'll start with that. As actually I first reported to my subscribers on Twitter, my super followers, CM Punk is injured. Tore his triceps. The rumor is it is torn off the bone. Very significant injury. And he will address it tonight on Raw. Now, if you watch the match, CM Punk didn't look good at all. And part of that looked like he was just tired. But clearly the other part of it is he was injured. And it happened when it came down to the last five or six. He took a future shock, a DDT from Drew, and grabbed his triceps, went right over to that referee in the corner, said it was his triceps, and just like in the match with John Moxley, he managed to finish the match. So credit to him for that. And he went back and forth with Cody, and Cody eventually tossed him out won the 2024 Royal Rumble. So, for those of you that don't know, it is Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns is the main event of WrestleMania. So, whatever they're going to do with The Rock is whatever they're going to do with The Rock. But The Rock is not walking in and changing the plans that they've had for the past year. So, it is Cody versus Roman Reigns. I guess Rock could maybe do a different night of WrestleMania, or he could do a different show, or I don't think he's going to wait another year. But they are still planning on doing the Rock and Roman Reigns. But Cody and Roman is the main event of WrestleMania, and presumably Cody is going to finish his story. Now, I want to reiterate again, I've said this countless times, I do not know this for a fact, but for a lot of different reasons, things that I've been told, I believe that Cody was supposed to beat Roman Reigns last year, and Vince McMahon sauntered in, if you recall, on Saturday. He made his big return the WrestleMania weekend, and uh, and things were different. Well, Vince is now gone, and they did not spend a full year telling the story of Cody finishing his story for Roman Reigns to beat him again. So I fully expect that Cody is going to win the title at WrestleMania. As far as CM Punk goes, it was supposed to be CM Punk and Seth Rollins. Seth, obviously, he's got an injury. Now CM Punk has an injury. I don't think that CM Punk is going to be able to make WrestleMania. I suppose anything is possible. I would be very surprised. But uh, that is that. And I guess before we go into any of the rest of the news, any comments, Mike, or should I continue on? Uh, you know what? Go ahead and continue on for right now. All right. So the other notes from the Rumble, which tie into all of this. So we had two Royal Rumble matches, and the men's Rumble, as noted, was won by Cody. And because of everything going on with Vince McMahon, as I noted in the opening segment of the show, Vince McMahon has resigned the TKO Group Holdings, submitted an SEC filing Monday, recognizing officially that he is no longer with the company. They said that on January 26, 2024, Vincent K. McMahon notified the board of directors of TKO Group Holdings of his resignation from his positions as executive chair, a member of the board, any other positions, employment or otherwise, that he has at TKO and its subsidiaries, in each case with immediate effect as of January 26, 2024. Came one day after former WWE employee Janelle Grant filed a lawsuit against him, WWE, and John Laurinaitis. I think that we've talked a lot about that. I don't want to go into more details. But the a key that ties into the Rumble, besides Vince being gone, is that Brock Lesnar also was supposed to be in the Royal Rumble. And Brock Lesnar was removed from the Rumble over the weekend. Now, somebody had a had a good question here. They said, so Triple H claims that he didn't read the lawsuit, yet he knew enough to remove Brock Lesnar from the Rumble. Well, Brock Lesnar actually was not named in the lawsuit, but he was named in the Wall Street Journal article that came out several days before. So I'm not saying that I believe that Triple H did not read the lawsuit. I find that very hard to believe. But... He would have known about the Brock Lesnar deal without having read the lawsuit. It was all over the media. And, uh, you know, I've also had people state, well, you know, maybe the maybe it was, since they didn't mention who the former UFC heavyweight champion was, maybe it was Cain Velasquez. Uh, 
idiots. It was not Cain Velasquez. Cain no, Velasquez. You, look, Brian, let me just jump in right there. If you read the thing and you actually, you know, spent the time to go through it, you would see that they talk about a superstar that was re-signed, and later on, they, it, it says it clearly in there, it happened around SummerSlam 2021. Yeah, it was 2021. That's when he made his return after nearly a year and a half of not being there because of WrestleMania, and there were talks of that. Again, everything is in there if you actually chose to, to read it, and even if you're not, trust the people that actually have some credibility who have. Well, it was 2021 that the meetings occurred, and Kane had been gone for two years at that point. So it was not Kane Velasquez. It was Brock Lesnar. And besides, if it wasn't Brock Lesnar, he'd been in the Rumble. So he wasn't in the Rumble. So it, he was replaced in the Rumble by Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker took his spot. And so everything that happened in the Rumble was what was going to happen with Brock Lesnar. So... You know, when I first watched it, I was like, man, they're giving this Braun a huge push. God, look at this guy. He's just running through dudes. He's he's just smashing everybody. And then he gets thrown out by Dom. And at first I thought, you know, I like Dom and all, probably more than most. But I'm not sure that I would call up Braun Breaker to the main roster and have him run wild, only to be just thrown out by Dominic Mysterio. And uh, the reason that that happened was, has nothing to do with Braun. It had to do with Brock. Dominic was going to eliminate Brock Lesnar from the Royal Rumble. And this was going to lead to Brock absolutely obliterating Dom in uh, Australia. And then Brock Lesnar versus Gunther at WrestleMania. Now none of this will happen. I suppose it's possible maybe they'll bring back uh, Brock. But uh, I would be very surprised. I would be... uh, flabbergasted actually i don't think we're ever going to see brock again but i can't say that for sure no and they've set up ron already because of the social media that he's done after the fact saying he's going to stay on the judgment day it looks like he is being inserted right into that spot so there was a lot that happened this weekend i mean you didn't even mention slim jim pulling out then returning as a sponsor ronda's calma and on bruce pritchard no, we will get to still, this yes again all of these things it was a certainly a wild weekend in tko stock now down to where it was pretty much today where it was before the netflix deal was announced you know kind of around 80 bucks and just kind of sitting there so we'll see what the long-term ramifications are on all of that sort of stuff i'll just jump in to say this could open up an opportunity if you wanted to do something with Damian Priest cashing in that briefcase and not using that as a chip in his story with Drew McIntyre. I guess now could be the opportunity to do something like that with CM Punk being out. And I also wonder now at this point, CM Punk's going to be out at least nine months. I am sure we are going to see him back in a professional wrestling ring at some point down the line. But I also start to wonder, I'm not sure how long he signed for. And I know that he and Shawn Michaels have said a lot of nice things about each other. I wonder how long it's going to be before we end up seeing CM Punk in more of a role down there in NXT, uh, trying to help out the future and trying to help out Regal and those sorts of folks down there, as opposed to him being an actual threat to wrestle in the ring because these injuries keep mounting up. And as you continue to age, it probably isn't going to stop. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.